We're in the middle of an affordable housing crisis. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development defines affordable housing as a unit that a household can obtain for 30% or less of its gross income. The National Low Income Housing Coalition annually reports the number of households that are cost burdened or paying more than 30% of their income on housing. In 2020, NLIHC found that there were only nine counties in Michigan where a full-time worker earning minimum wage can afford to rent a two-bedroom unit at fair market rate without being cost burdened. Nationally, the median black earner earns nearly 27% less than the median white worker, which keeps black families and children in a cycle of poverty without access to safe, appropriate housing. What's your plan to ensure that all families have affordable housing? Every family needs stable, affordable housing. Unfortunately, for most workers, that's not attainable based on the amount of current wages. And what's worse is because of racial disparities uh, in our economic outcomes, we know that it's even harder for black workers, brown workers, and other workers of color compared to their white counterparts. So let's call this what it is and build plans to deal with it. I support a living wage. I support making uh, increasing educational opportunities for skills advancement. I support programs that are going to increase the amount of affordable housing stock in our neighborhoods. But ultimately, we need to put all of these programs together to deal with both the racial disparities that exist in our economic outcomes, as well as deal with our lack of affordable housing that exists in far too many of our communities. But these are problems that we can fix. We just need to elect folks who actually are going to fight to solve the problems and prioritize solving homelessness. I'm ready to do that. In 2018, there were 65,104 individuals in Michigan who were literally homeless. That includes families with small children and unaccompanied youth. Many national studies and experts predict that the COVID-19 pandemic is going to lead to a significant increase in housing instability and homelessness. Michigan's eviction diversion program, which is funded by CARES, is set to expire at the end of the year, which will lead to a wave of evictions. If elected, what federal resources are you willing to commit to preventing evictions and homelessness? America was already experiencing problems when it came to homelessness, and because of COVID-19, it's only going to get worse. Having worked in the state budget, I know how important it is that we expand programs that help alleviate homelessness. In federal office, I would support a stimulus program that actually helps deal with the backlog of uh, rent and foreclosure issues so we actually could prevent evictions. I would work to expand vouching programs so we can eliminate wait, wait lists and make sure that housing remains affordable for all people. And finally, I would put economic programs in place and support economic programs that would expand the amount of affordable housing stock we have in the country. I mean, the reality is, is that we're not building enough affordable housing. And so this prog program and and problems are only going to get worse until we actually put policies in place to make it better. Homelessness within public schools is often invisible. During 2017-2018 school year, Michigan Public Schools identified over 37,000 students who were homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. Students experiencing homelessness and housing insecurities graduate at a far lower rate than their peers. In 2018, and the graduation rate for all students was 81%, but students experiencing homelessness, it was only 57%. If elected, how will you support students experiencing homelessness and their families in efforts to secure and maintain safe, accessible housing and achieve academic success? Too many of our students experience homelessness and oftentimes it goes unseen. I've been proud in Kalamazoo to support the Vote Yes for Kids campaign that ultimately tried to produce additional funds that actually could help with homelessness in our schools. The reality though is that McKinney-Vinto funds need to be expanded. We need to make sure that there are federal dollars that are put into place at a level to make an impact, not just so we can monitor the amount of homelessness we have, but we can actually do something about it. Every kid deserves a home and having stable housing is the first step to making that come true. Additionally, we need to have additional funds for the schools 
so we can actually deal with these problems. We have to be able to deal with the equity issue, the trauma, and the lack of resources that exist because of families and, and kids who might be homeless or couch surfing. So I would want to make sure that we are expanding federal support so we actually can wrap our students in the resources they need to thrive.